Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In uh, today video clip, I will show you step by step how to do non-parametric test in SPSS. There are mainly four major non-parametric tests that are usually in common use in SPSS. Before we start, I need to describe two important types of data. Data can be either qualitative, qualitative means that it comes in categories, such as, and these categories can, can be either nominal, no order, like names of individuals, sex of individuals, male or females, or qualitative data can be ordinal, i.e. they are in ranks, like A, B, C, D, first, second, third, low, medium, high. So the first type is qualitative, the second type is quantitative, which is measurable. It's a numerical scale, and then quant quantitative can be either continuous or discrete continuous is continuous data or variable are data that has number in it from point 0.1 point 0.5 two point five three and so on discrete data data that uh, comes in integer one two three four five right so, what does non-parametric data mean? When we can call that now that these data are non-parametric in a samples. We can call this data are non-parametric when the samples are not normally distributed. The distribution of the value of this data in the group are not uh, normally distributed and shift from the normal shape of the curve. The sample size are not equal. One sample is larger than the other. The sample size is very small. One, one, one or two samples, one of the samples is less than 30, or both of them. Then these data probably, to do a comparison on them, you need a non-parametric, they are called non-parametric, and they need non-parametric test for them. The samples are ordinal. Ordinal mean, as I explained, they come in order. One, two, three, four. Like a questionnaire. You do have a questionnaire and the answer in the questionnaire either I totally disagree, I agree, uh, it doesn't matter, uh, I strongly agree, and so on. They, the data contain an outliers, a very extreme value of these data one of the uh, measurements or the value of value of the data is very high or extremely very low compared to the data now what are the major non-parametric tests that can be used in SPSS there are four major non-parametric tests and there are two factors determine which one of them to use the first factor is whether the samples are related or not related and what is the size and the size of the sample or the groups. So if you have two groups that are unrelated or two, or two samples that are unrelated and you want to compare these two groups and these data on the group and those grow and those groups are non-parametric then we use a man with new test another test that really have the similar uh, similar to man with new test is Wilcoxon rank sum test if you have more than two groups three groups four and five and so on and your groups or samples are unrelated 
then Ker Kerskal Kerskal Wallace test is the one to use. Then we follow that by post hoc test, and I will explain later on why do we need to do the second test following doing the first one. However, if your data comes in a groups and these groups are related, they are paired, and you have two groups or two samples, then Wilcoxon signed rank test is the one to use to compare those, those two groups. And if, you're, if you have more than two groups, three, four, five, and these groups are related, participant or, in, say, or individual has different measures in different groups, then Friedman ANOVA test, the one to use for non-parametric test, followed by post hoc test, and I will explain that in subsequent uh, slides and uh, and show you how to do it uh, in uh, in SPSS. So how does this test briefly works? The non-parametric test, in fact, take the actual data, sort the data in ranks, and compare the median and calculate the p-value. 